Good morning. And we are live on YouTube. Great. All right. Good morning. So let's wait a few seconds till uh, some people join. And we have this morning in, not intermediate, sorry, that was on Wednesday. Today is advanced class on YouTube, live spiral stabilization UK class. And we will today build up and progress exercises that we did on Monday in beginners class, on Wednesday in intermediate class. And today you will need again our spiral stabilization exercise mat. And uh, we'll be now stepping onto the mat um, for advanced exercises. But I'll show you options that you can do even for beginners, even intermediate. Um, you can stick uh, to your routine that you've been doing if you've been given routine by your therapist. Um, <clears throat> so stick to your beginners level or intermediate. You can still join us all levels welcome, um, but it will be focused on advanced exercises. Um, and I'll explain what you can do, how you can, um, <clears throat> um, how you can tailor the exercises to suit your own level. All right, so we've got somebody live with us. Perfect. Okay, so let's grab your band and I'll show you um, how the exercises look like for advanced level. And then I'll explain what you can do if you're beginners or intermediate, so you can still exercise with me. So and now place one leg on the mat like we did in the intermediate session. Let's actually, for me, swap legs so you can see it better in the camera. And now come down as you are used to, just rounding the back, stretching the vertical chains. And now we will step forward as if you're walking up the stairs through bent knee now. Straighten both legs, but keep your toes on the floor. Make sure you're not rotating this foot. Keep the foot facing forward. Um, glutes tight, abs pulled in, shoulder blades together and looking straight ahead. Let me go back down so you see better and now again same down hug step glutes tight abs tight and all your weight is on the leg on the mat down and then if you want to make it even harder step on and we're now raising the leg of the floor so down and exhaling up so all the technique as usual we're just stepping onto the mat making the spiral chains work harder keep going on the same leg Let's do two more. And when you're ready, um, then switch. So same on the other side. So either leave the leg on the floor on, um, on the floor to give you a bit of a support or lift the leg off the floor. Key here is to, as soon as you step on, to contract the glutes. If you contract the glutes, squeeze the bum cheek, it will help you to stabilize the whole body if you're engaging your shoulder blades at the same time with the exercise band. And um, for intermediate level, you don't have to be stepping on. Stay on the floor, just hug here, and then open into this position, okay? So stay on the floor instead of stepping on. Here, if you're beginners, don't forget about the mat, both feet on the floor, and just exercising here, or you can exercise with straight leg, especially for clients with a flat back or who are in a lot of pain, it's better to start with straight legs, okay? So when we've completed a couple more reps here on this side, then we're going to turn and let's face each other. Now, opposite leg on the mat, that's important because you'll stabilize the body better. And let's go here into just our regular waiter. But again, stepping onto the mat, lifting the leg of the floor. So you have three options, staying on the floor, doing it this way, or beginners, both feet on the floor, or advanced level with me, stepping on, lifting the leg of the floor, or fourth option, just leave the leg behind to give you a bit more stability if you're not um, confident stepping onto the mat yet. Okay, so a few more here. And now after this, quarter turn, and we're facing away from the, from the band. Now, <clears throat> let's go waiter again. So it um, doesn't matter which leg goes on. 
and step on glutes tight, abs tight. So three options, like I said before. Glutes, abs, and traction it upwards. Great. Two more. And now switch legs. Same on the other side. So carry on, carry on, carry on, guys. I'll do just a little bit of extra magic here. <laughs> okay, so you can see me much better now. Switch legs and then we're stepping on. I can't remember which leg I did, but it doesn't matter. Just do the, do the other one. Always alternate when you have both bands on your, on your hands. So always alternating, we're always swapping legs. Okay, all right. Let's do two more. And now quarter turn when you finish, always walking around your mat and um, going around your mat, mat is in front of you. Now opposite leg on the mat, so your right leg, if uh, I have my band on my left hand, I'm going to do side pull with my left, right leg on the mat and I'll step on, glues really tight here and then lift the knee. So these exercises on the mat, working with the mat, strengthen and engage spiral chains much more so you have a stronger activity through the entire chain especially all the way down into your into your feet you're building foot arch bringing the big toe into natural straight position and you contracting glutes and abdominal muscles especially external internal obliques much more one more quarter turn and here, let's repeat first exercise again. Hug, step on. Excellent. One more and then swap side. So change legs. So stick to your option, as I said. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, you know what to do. So pick a level, stick to it, and then you can still do all the exercises. <clears throat> One more, tractioning upwards and elongating the spine. Excellent, now let's come kneeling. So <clears throat> come kneeling, facing your facing your band. Normally we kneel away from the band, but today we'll face the attachment. I'll start with my right leg, so then you can see me better when I start turning around. If you can't kneel, and as I said before, stick to the beginner's level here, when one knee goes back, one leg forward, and you're just going to stick to this option. Okay, that's very easy one, if this one is too hard. Now from here, We've got 90-90 in the knees, leg behind you is relaxed, foot is relaxed. And now I'll go into the hugging, but I'm going to straighten my leg in front of me. Now come up, squeeze the glutes as usual, pull the stomach in, level the pelvis, and now I'm going to come and stretch my hips. And again, down, so we're stretching vertical chains, now strengthening spiral chains, but at the same time actively relaxing vertical chains, muscles along the spine, but really focusing here on stretching on my left side now, stretching the hips, hip flex. So always go up into traction first, up, up first, and then you can come into, into hip flexor stretch. So hips facing forwards, forwards, everything leveled, not lifting one hip higher than the other. And now change knees, 
same on the other side. 1990, um, you've got your uh, hips, uh, knees, sorry, uh, your knees hip width apart, hack here, direction up and then forward, but don't go too far forward because you see I'll arch my lower back and I'm not going to stretch my hip flexor. So you need to tuck the bum under here as if you're actually lifting the, the anterior pelvis, lift it up or lifting belly button up, traction upwards and then you can come forward, but only little so you have very almost straight lower back or just one or two fingers of lordosis in the lumbar spine. And we're straightening the leg, so straight. That's option that you can do if you're uh, not confident with straightening the leg, otherwise straighten and forward. Okay. One more and now we start turning. So it's similar to arm exercises. We do quarter turn and then turn. So 90-90, uh, same here as we did facing forward, but this time I'm going into waiter over the head and stretching the hips on this side. Down, relax, straighten the leg or stick to being at 90-90, it's up to you. You've got three options, the beginners, here, kneeling on both knees, 90-90, or coming with me into straight leg, and then into waiter exercise, okay? So pick a level that you wanna do, and then just stick to it. Glutes engaged, stomach pulled in, tractioning upwards, that helps you to feel the stretch much more and make it more intense. Okay, so switch knees now. We always do both, so alternating and over. And here, make sure the hip is not too high. Try to level it, have the hips leveled. Down, glutes engaged, stomach pulled in. Great, let's do two more. And when you're ready and complete your repetition there, left knee down, right leg forward and another quarter turn. So you're doing the whole um, same as you're doing your arm exercises, always um, performing the exercises on in all four, in all four directions. So hug down, exhale, track a little bit. If you've got the flexibility, you can stretch a little bit forward. But as I said, don't go too far because you're going to arch your back and put too much pressure on the intervertebral discs. So just a small stretch, upright, and then a little bit forward. Now change, foot at the back is relaxed. Hug here, glutes as tight as you can, stomach pulled in, traction up, and then I can go a little bit forward and straightening the leg. So at home, let's say do around four or five repetitions on each side. And if you're doing the whole round, let's do quarter ten. If you're doing the whole round, then you're going to have loads of repetitions and properly stretched hips. So over, glutes tight now on my left side, so abs pulled in, traction up, and then forward. Okay, let's do a last rep and then change. Okay, switch knees again, relax down, careful here not to rotate the body, so always keep the body facing forward, level the hips, glutes tight, and stretch the hip flexors. But still you know um, what we're doing, same technique as always, elbow in, scapula, shoulder blades together, aligning the head, chin pulled in, elongating the neck and stretching the whole body and spine elongating upwards. Let's do one more. 
to now quarter turn so we back where we started here I'll show you a version so stick to what you've been doing carry on for those who are only very fit who exercise regularly you know that you don't have any uh, any uh, hip issues neck issues back issues no pain no disc problems you can come all the way down to stretch that's more for um, like a sports version of spiral stabilization very very advanced option um, more for sports and conditioning so those with disc problems do not do this one okay make sure you're not doing this one stick to your basic option last one and now change and then same on the other side so only for those fit ones you're sitting all the way back sit all the way back head to the knee and then up into hip stretch down exhaling up and vertebra by vertebra rounding the back and then up okay excellent now let's stand up and put your bands on your feet i just need to pop exercise band so it's a little bit tighter okay so grab your poles um, i'll just check how many we've got online excellent lots of you here wonderful so leg exercises you know we've already done them together um, to make them advanced and progress the exercise you can do them standing on our balance mat okay as i said before everything can be done without it if you don't have the mat just stand on the floor and perform the exercises without the mat okay if you have it um, you can stand on it you've got pulse close to your little toes and then leg up and back behind the mat make sure that the foot is not facing out so you're not rotating the hips hips facing forward foot facing forward both feet parallel now here you contracting the glutes leveling the pelvis so make sure that the pelvis is leveled it's not in anterior tilt and you're not arching your back so level the pelvis stomach in glutes really engaged and all technique as you are used to tractioning upwards and you've done the exercises before we did them last week on Instagram Facebook this week here on YouTube so try and add one arm to go with the with the knee opposite and if you've done them with both arms then just do both and for those who are advanced you can add rotation only in your chest so shoulder comes forward the other one goes back and now swapping again now my right shoulder goes forward left back and I'm engaging shoulder blades as usual and tractioning the body upwards always looking straight ahead now change legs lift and down so very basic option is you guys standing on the floor okay standing on the floor it's beginners then you can progress by doing it with doing the exercise with one stick or later with both or adding rotation but rotation and the spine mobilization is not for clients with back pain or disc issues um, it's better to do them under guidance of your therapist so if you're not sure then it's better just to keep the body facing forward and do not any rotation okay no rotation for disc problems one more and now we're turning so quarter turn quarter turn so you're facing me and now outside leg goes straight to the side foot again not rotating facing forward all toes on the floor so you have a good support and now add your opposite arm and if you want just add both that's it so stick to your level either beginners on the floor without the mat 
one arm with the knee or, or both arms. And I'm lost with counting again. So let's do two more. Upwards, upwards, elongate. Always a little pause at the end of the motion to stretch up, okay? Inside leg. Here you might need to shuffle a little bit more to the side, that side, so you feather away from your attachment, so you've got a little bit more resistance on your band. Yeah, I don't have very, very much, but that's okay. And mobilizing. These, these exercises are fantastic for gait. That's what we do naturally. We teach clients how to walk correctly, run correctly, how to just restore the natural movement pattern that we all lost because we're sitting down too much. And last one. Water tan. Now we are facing away from the band and leg goes up and down. So this one is same as the first exercise. Careful not to arch the back. So level the pelvis, soften the ribs down so the spine is nice and neutral. In and exhale. At home. I usually say between five and 10 repetitions of each exercise. Hips facing forward, careful not to rotate the hips. And then arm always goes into external rotation. So not here, but opening, opening the chest, engaging the shoulder blade. Switch legs. Same on the other side. Great. Glutes, stomach and elongate. Looking always straight ahead, chin in. And I think I haven't mentioned that by doing this movement motion with your arm, it also stretches your neck muscles. So it's very good to release the neck tightness and mobilize everything. All right, I think we have enough repetitions here. Quarter turn, so we're facing away um, each other. And now start with the leg on the outside. So it's my left leg and lift the knee in front of you. Make sure you're not crossing, you're not going